stunning outcome in game 11 of the Chargers season as they are upset by the Tennessee Titans with not really a great offensive day out of anybody, but they did score just enough points. A few big days on the Chargers, and Craig Brink had, I believe, those three touchdowns or two touchdowns. And again, sorry if they're glitching out. I don't know why it does this on random uh, videos. I think I'm just going to have to uninstall the uh, Elgato program and then reinstall it. But a uh, bad day for Philip Rivers through the air. Three interceptions for him. Not the greatest showing. And uh, I still have Craig Brink on punt returns on accident. I'm going to change that going into this game. I moved undrafted rookie free agent Roosevelt Eugene up to our top kicker turner. We are taking on the Dallas Cowboys, who also have a record of 7-4. and four. Coming into this episode, we dropped to 7-4 and four after losing last week. We are 1-3 and three since the bye. Uh, but I really attribute that mostly to injuries. Jason Verrett's been out. Uh, we lost Travis Benjamin for the season and they have various in other injuries, but Melvin Gordon here off to an early start He's not injured even though he was last year at the end of the year 11 yards for him early on and then a run right here up the middle cuts outside and he is gone 46 yard touchdown Jeff Heath cannot bring him down and the Chargers are gonna take an early 7 to nothing lead they get the ball back later and a pitch out to Melvin Gordon now and he gets perfect blocking and then he gets a downfield block and he is putting on the Jets and that is going to be another long touchdown for him this time it is going to be a 65 yard score and just on three carries he already has 100 yards on the afternoon and the Chargers are off to a quick 14 to nothing lead but here later in the first quarter this is going to be Keenan Allen over the middle and now it is going to be Hunter Henry making a nice grab right there from the down to the 38, excuse me. And now it is going to be another running play for Melvin Gordon. And he is going to pick up a first down, shakes a tackle, and he is going to pick up a little bit more. 150 yards on just 10 carries and already two scores on the day. Drop him back now. Phillip Rivers goes over the middle to Craig Brink, and he is clocked, but he does hold on to the ball right there. Down to the 14, and the Chargers would convert here on third and seven but it would not be enough for the first down is the defense swarms to Davian Brandon catching it out of the backfield right there and so the Chargers are off to an early 17 to nothing lead but the offense would stagnate great interception right there by Orlando Skandrick uh, Philip Rivers threw two other interceptions during this game that were maybe not very legitimate it was kind of just me getting screwed over but uh, that was uh a nice play by Orlando Skandrick right there. Now Dak dropping back. Des Bryant's first reception of the day. We've been shutting him down all day. He's going to catch that one, though. And uh, Dak Prescott's made a few mistakes of his own on the day. But he's going to drop back right here. Pressure coming, and he finds a man between two defenders. But neither of them, neither of them react to it because it's Madden now. Uh, you're about to see something happen in this next scene. So uh, I'm going to explain it a little bit. So the uniforms are different. Um, the Chargers are going to be wearing blue, and the Cowboys are wearing white. I went to go do something because i had something more important i had to do and uh they have the feature where you can resume your games but it doesn't resume what uniforms you were wearing we were wearing powder blue and the cowboys were wearing uh the dark blue in the first half but then it switched it when it came back so yeah the uniforms are going to be different for the rest of this i don't think there's very much gameplay left to show but but it doesn't matter that the Cowboys scored with a short field. The Chargers are going to be coming back, gunning. Phil Rivers rolls right, gives it to Roosevelt Eugene, the rookie, and he is going to get out across midfield. All sorts of rookie receivers making contributions in this game. And now up the seam is going to be Hunter Henry, and he is going to grab that one at a big afternoon as Phil Rivers' main target, with Keenan Allen being covered by Pro Bowl, or Pro Bowl corner. And now this is going to be a flag on Jeff Heath. Pass interference, they're going to call it down the field. And so that is going to get all the way down to the 15 for the Chargers. And then Melvin Gordon is going to run up the middle, sheds a tackle, but he's going to be taken down. Picks up nine, down to the six. And then left side, Hunter Henry somersaults over Jeff Heath, and he is going to score the touchdown. And that puts the Chargers up 24-7. to that would be pretty much it. The Cowboys would score a stupid garbage time touchdown right here where none of my defenders reacted in zone coverage. That does make it a 24-14 game, but that is going to do it. And I really thought that the Chargers did an effective job of limiting the Cowboys passing game. They had a couple big plays, and that was about it. They had the one play to Des Bryant, but other than that, everything was short checkdowns. Ezekiel Elliott actually led their team, and I think he led the game in total catches. And Prescott did finish 30 of 40, but there was nothing really that far down the field. Phillip Rivers had a pretty miserable day. The offensive line wasn't doing a whole lot in terms of pass protection. Run blocking, they were doing excellent. But in terms of pass protection, they weren't doing a whole lot. Receivers were dropping passes. It doesn't show Vincent Jackson 
on this leaderboard. Uh, I targeted Vincent Jackson at least six times, and he dropped or just did not put any effort into catching it, all, all six or more of those passes. And he's really been disappointing when I played with him this season. I relied on him to make a lot of tough catches, jump balls, and traffic and stuff, but he's just not been performing. He hasn't really do, been doing anything in the games that I've been playing. And uh, it's really going to be a position to look at going forward, especially with the breakout of rookie Craig Brink who has had a few big games since he was thrust into the slot role with... Well, he doesn't really play the slot. Keenan Allen usually plays the slot. So Craig Brink has been thrust into a bigger role in the offense ever since Travis Benjamin's injury. But Vincent Jackson's been a pretty big disappointment this year. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. And stay tuned for the next episode of the Chargers franchise in Madden 17.